A dispute between the U.S. and Germany over Russian gas is likely to come to a head this week as U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo embarks on a European tour. The disagreement over a pipeline that the U.S. believes makes Germany too dependent on Russia. There's already one pipeline running under the Baltic Sea. Now a new one called Nord Stream 2 rose, is to run parallel to the first one and it's nearing completion. It's expected to pump some 55 billion cubic meters of gas from Russia to Germany every year. Well, the project has been a major bone of contention between Berlin and Washington. Just last week, U.S. senators threatened to slap sanctions on a German port where essential building materials for the pipeline are stored. That's caused outrage in the port and here in Berlin. This ferry from the Danish island of Bornholm could soon be stalled by U.S. sanctions. The ship is destined for Mukran port and therefore has business ties with the port authority. Port Mokran on the island of Rügen is of pivotal importance in the construction of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. Two special Russian ships are docked here. Once they have been equipped, they are supposed to lay the final 160 kilometers of pipeline. But if US senators have their way, the harbor management, all business associates and even local authorities would be affected by the sanctions. Gas market expert Heiko Lohmann feels this signals that the Americans are again taking drastic measures against the project. Die neuen Sanktionen zeigen vor allen Dingen auch, dass die amerikanische The new sanctions especially show that the American side is looking at this very closely and is willing to impose an obstacle with every move of the project enterprise or the Russian side. I believe the sanctions have the potential to at least postpone the project for a very long time. Neighboring Poland also wants to hinder Nord Stream 2. It runs its own LNG terminal on its Baltic coast and plans to receive liquefied natural gas from Qatar or Norway. Warsaw fears that Russia will further expand its power with Nord Stream 2 and ultimately use it as a political weapon and economic leverage against the EU. The US and Poland together are pressuring Germany to halt the project. Poland and the Baltic countries are fundamentally opposed to the Nord Stream 2 project as it endangers energy security in Central Europe. We hope that the US sanctions will halt the project and that Germany will return to European energy solidarity. Nord Stream 2 damages European energy solidarity. The new sanctions could have severe economic consequences for Mukran port. For example, if international insurers refuse to insure incoming ships. DW political correspondent Emmanuel Schaas is covering this story for us. Emmanuel, how are political leaders in Germany responding to these threats from Washington? Well, the spokesperson of the government, Stefan Seibert, said uh, yesterday that Germany was opposed to any extraterritorial sanctions. And in that, he joined what Angela Merkel, Germany's chancellor, was saying last month when she said that the U.S. sanctions don't correspond with Germany's understanding of international law. Uh, Foreign Minister Heiko Maas, who's uh, today uh, visiting uh, Moscow, visiting his counterpart Sergei Lavrov in Moscow, where they will certainly talk about Nord Stream uh, 2, also expressed his dismay. He said he talked to uh, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo about it and he shared his surprise, his displeasure at the letter written by the American senators. Uh, Berlin now will discuss uh, with its European partners uh, what uh, would be the answer to Washington and the government, the German government is also in touch with all the companies that are being threatened uh, directly by those sanctions. This is a rather remarkable case because it sounds like the US trying to tell Germany how it should organize its energy policy. How do American political leaders justify that? Well, for the United States, uh, the project is a threat to both the US and the EU security. They say uh, that this would endanger European security by making Germany overly dependent on Russian gas. And the US also uh, wants to sell more of its own natural gas to Germany. So the Russian pipeline affects this project. Now, Defense Minister Angret kram karrenbauer said that uh, Germany could reassure the US that Germany wouldn't become too dependent on Russian gas. And she also said that concern that other interests such as those of Ukraine and Poland uh, um, are not justified. 
Now, imposing sanctions on a close ally is a rather shocking move diplomatically. What impact is this having on transatlantic relations? Well, that will all depend on how this dispute ends. But of course, it will have a pivotal role not only in the future US and German relations, but also uh, in on the relations between the US and the EU. Uh, if the pipeline is completed, that would be a first entry point of Russian gas to the EU. But now the European Union is again looking into the project because of those possible US sanctions. So this won't only affect US and German re Germany's relations. And those sanctions will hit uh, European companies much more than they would hit uh, Russian companies. What are the prospects of resolving this conflict, Emmanuel, and salvaging what's arguably an important relationship between Germany and the US? Well, what we see right now is really a standoff between the US and Germany, with no country willing to change its stance. Uh, the three senators who wrote the letter said that there would be uh, crushing legal and economic sanctions against the port. We saw that in the report, and that would end uh, the port's commercial and financial ties within the US. So if those sanctions are implemented, of course, this certainly won't appease the tensions between the two countries. Emmanuel, thank you very much. That was our political correspondent, Emmanuel Schaas.